But what I can do to be evil because you're not helping me is punch you. Now you've got the disease because you're just so useless. You will not help me. I've given you a deadly disease. You deserve it. Hello there, Whippy here, and once again, welcome back to another mod showcase, where today I'm going to be showing you a mod called the Disease Craft mod, which has loads of deadly diseases, which you can contract in different ways into Minecraft. So it's a really cheery mod to cover, loads of deadly diseases that kill you in the game. Brilliant. But by the way, guys, if you can shoot for 600 likes for this deadly mod, that would be amazing. Much appreciated. But anyway, I'm going to start off this mod showcase by going into this lovely box-shaped building I built. I know I'm not very good at building, but it'll do. And in here, we have loads of information about all of the different diseases that you can contract in this mod. So, first up, we have Influenza. And this is transferred by zombies. It does have a cure, as you can see there, by that symbol. And then, after that, we've got Rabies, which is transferred by wolves. And again... This does have a cure, and this one in real life is really deadly. If you get this in real life, you're pretty much screwed, but luckily this one does have a cure in Minecraft, so it's not all over if you do catch it. But then next up, we have Pneumonic Plague, and this is actually transferred by eating raw animal meat, so stuff like pork and beef is now risky to eat. So normally in Minecraft, you just nonchalantly just chew on loads of raw meat just to get your hunger up, but now it's probably not a wise idea. Uh, but next up we have malaria, and this one's transferred by mosquitoes in a hot climate. Uh, there aren't actually any new mosquito mobs in the game, uh, so they're kind of invisible, but if you are in like hot desert or mesa biomes, then there's a small chance that you're going to contract malaria, so you've got to be careful, you don't want to go in there and be overexposed for too long, otherwise you might contract ma malaria. And it does have a cure though, so don't worry about that. And then we've got some that don't have cures. So first up for these, we've got the bubonic plague, and this is transferred by black rats. And this is actually a brand new mob that is added by this mod, and they just walk around randomly, and they look a little bit like silverfish, but they're black, and they have long tails, <laughs> because they're rats. Wow, they look like silverfish, but they're not silverfish. That's just perfect. And yeah, they don't have a cure. And then next up, we have Parkinson's disease, and this one's uh, got a weird way of contracting it. You just have to overexplore. Not really sure what's classed as overexploring. Probably like walking around a world for like weeks and weeks. You're probably going to contract this. But again, it has no cure. So if you get this, it's pretty much game over. Unless you kill yourself because for some reason, killing yourself and then respawning gets rid of the disease because you've killed yourself. So it, that's something that's only ever possible in Minecraft, isn't it? Kill yourself to get rid of the disease. Perfect. And then finally, we've got yellow fever. And this is transferred again by mosquitoes in a hot climate. Uh, so deserts, again, are going to be dangerous for you to go in because you might get yellow fever. And this one does actually have a cure, so you don't have to worry about that one. So yeah, that's it for all of the diseases. But now, guys, because I'm so nice, I'm going to be contracting loads of deadly diseases for your viewing pleasure. But before we do that, I'm going to show you something called a medical journal. And this can be used to see all of the different um, side effects and uh, treatments for every single disease that this mod adds into the game. So you can see here we've got influenza, which I'm about to get. Uh, it has symptoms of nausea, weakness, drowsiness and fatigue, transferred by players and zombies and treatable with acetaminophen. I can't even say that. Acetaminophen, maybe? That's probably how it's said. <laughs> and I've got some of that on my hotbar, so I can cure myself instead of dying, which is always a plus point. Uh, so yeah, pretty much I'm just going to set it to night time so we can spawn down some zombies without them burning up, and then I'm going to uh, get hit by them and hopefully one of them is going to give me that deadly disease so come on give me influenza i've never said that before in my life <laughs> come on just hit me okay i think i've got it now now i've got to kill them die zombies you better die i don't want to be killed by zombies when i've got influenza that would not be uh, the best of situations but as you can see there i've got influenza back to daytime and we've got weakness slowness mining fatigue and nausea from influenza so a pretty bad cocktail of different potion effects uh, and now everything's all queasy and it's wobbly and it's like jelly and it's horrible oh, i feel queasy oh dear help me anyway <laughs> i heard a zombie don't you dare come after me now uh, yeah kick me while i'm down uh, anyway so pretty much this is what it's like. Uh, there are two ways that you can actually get rid of this. You can get yourself a vaccine, which stops you getting influenza in the future as well, or you can get yourself some medication. And I'm going to go with the medication route because it's a lot easier and it doesn't involve villagers. I'll show you about the um, vaccines later on. But you can see here we've got some medication. You can actually craft this directly with a bottle, two bits of sugar, and some redstone. And then to take it, you just hold it in your hand and then 
drink it or eat it. It's probably eating, isn't it? Because they're probably tablets. Swallow the tablets or something. Probably not a liquid medicine. But you can see there we've got tier 1 medication. All of the horrible negative potion effects have disappeared. And now I'm just left with this tier 1 medication effect. So yeah, that's pretty much what the medication does. It just saves your life and gets rid of the horrible disease. So yeah. And I don't think the influenza disease actually kills you. No, it doesn't. It's got no mortality rate figure so I'm guessing it doesn't kill you but yeah that's the first disease I wanted to show you but next up I'm gonna have to actually kill myself because I need to get rid of this medication otherwise I won't be able to contract any more diseases uh, so I'm just gonna kill myself so yeah, I am back, and now I'm going to give myself rabies. Yay, delicious rabies. That's probably not something I should say. Anyway, we're just going to give myself rabies by spawning down loads of wolves and hitting them. And if one bites me, I might have a small chance of getting rabies. So let's just punch them. And oh no, there's a gang of wolves after me. <sighs> okay, now they're just fighting within each other. Anyway, all right, kill me. Kill me. Well, don't kill me. You know what I mean. Well, technically it is killing me by giving me this disease. Uh, but just hit me. Yes, I think I've got it now. You can stop now, wolves. Wolves! Quiet and down now. I've got the disease. You don't have to attack me anymore. I didn't want to kill you because you're all fluffy and cute, uh, but I ended up killing you anyway. So yeah. Now I've got the disease. You can see I've got slowness, but that's not the only effect that it gives you. So if I just open this medical journal now and look at the symptoms, you can see we've got hydrophobia as well as slowness, and it's transferred from wolves, as we know. Mortality rate of 50%, so there's a 50% chance that I'm going to end up dying at the end of this. Uh, but I'm just going to show you what this hydrophobia is. So if we just go down to the water and then jump in the water, instantly you're going to notice I am taking ticks of damage. And that's because hydrophobia makes you some kind of allergic to uh, water or something, and then it makes you take ticks of damage whenever you're in water. So probably not a very good idea to go anywhere near water if you have rabies. Uh, but now I'm just going to take the medication, which in this case, again, is acetaminophen. So I'm just going to take some of this like so there we go make sure you never overdose because when you overdose uh, it kills you instantly so yeah i'll probably show you an example of that later on but you can see now i've got tier one medication and i've got all my symptoms going away actually i may as well show you what overdosing does now so here we go i'm just gonna have another dose of medication okay how am i still alive wow okay i said that it did kill you but currently oh okay now it's killing me yep okay now i've got nausea and now i'm dead Yep, I overdosed on medication, so you don't want to be doing that. That's probably a really bad idea for you. Don't take too much medication, just like in real life, because it's probably going to end up being deadly. So, next up, I'm going to be showing you the effects of the pneumonic plague. And in this case, I'm not going to be able to give it to myself naturally. I'm going to have to give it, like, synthetically using this chemical extractor with the disease already in the blood supply or something. So I'm just going to hold this and then right-click. And the reason I can't do it naturally is, of course, because I have a full hunger bar. And it's a very rare chance that you'll get it from eating raw meat, so can't really do that now can i but you can see there we've got weakness slowness and mining fatigue from this pneumonic plague and yeah i think it also has a quite high um, mortality rate doesn't it let's have a look yeah mortality rate of 50 percent again and this one is actually treatable with something called chloroquine and i have some of that so that's good and you can see there the symptoms were weakness and drowsiness which i'm definitely exhibiting so here we go we've got some medication we're just going to drink this see if it works we'll eat it so you can see there i've got tier 2 medication and this should start to clear up this disease although the potion effects are still on me so maybe it hasn't worked Maybe there's a small chance that the medication fails. I'm not really sure, and I'm not about to wait five minutes to find out. Uh, but I'm just going to take it as it hasn't worked this time. <laughs> it was definitely chloroquine, wasn't it? Let me just have a look at the journal again. Was it chloroquine? Uh, yep, pneumonic plague, chloroquine. That's what I gave myself. So yeah, that's pretty much not working at the moment. Maybe it's just a small chance that it won't work every time. You never know with medication. It might be the wrong dose. Uh, maybe I have to take more. That's probably going to kill me. Let's try it anyway. Okay. Uh, nope. I'm just going to keep... Oh, oh, okay, now I'm dying. That's not good. <laughs> Was that from the medication or the disease? Okay, now I'm going to die. Yep. I've got 15 seconds of medication, though, and it's killed me. So next up, I'm going to give myself malaria. So here we go. Let's just give it to myself. Again, you get this one by being in hot climates like deserts and mesa biomes. So I can't really show you that now, but we've got weakness and mining fatigue. And let's have a look at the information about it again. So malaria here gives weakness, fatigue. We've got that. Uh, mortality rate 50%, so 50% chance I'm going to die, and treated with the same thing as pneumonic plague, which is chloroquine. So let's just try some of this, see if it actually clears it up this time. Uh, no, it's a very... Oh wait, it is clearing it up. Look at that. 
the effects are disappearing, and boom, we're back to being normal Whipper again. I'm not gonna die. Brilliant news, guys. Brilliant news. So yeah, that's what that one does. So next up, we have the diseases that can't be cured. Brilliant. So first up, we have the bubonic plague, and I'm sure you've all heard about that if you've ever had like history lessons in school or anything. <laughs> uh, then you'll know a century ago or so, it was somewhere around that time, there was the bubonic plague, which wiped out so many people, and now finally it's in Minecraft, which is brilliant news. Brilliant news. Now you can die from this in Minecraft. Craft. But anyway, I'm just gonna uh, spawn down some of the black rats, which actually you can get it from. So here we go, we've got some black rats. They look like this. As I said earlier, they look like silverfish. Uh, pretty much they are silverfish, just with a new texture. And look at those creepy red eyes. God, that's so... So weird, they look so scary. Ugh. Anyway, they do have a random chance of like hitting you, and when they hit you, they can give you the... Um, there we are, actually, we've been given it by these black rats, which is not very good news. Uh, so I'm just gonna kill these, uh, like so. And as you saw there, when you actually hit mobs when you have a disease, you can actually give the disease to the mobs that you hit, which is a pretty like cruel thing to do, but you can give like bubonic plague if you have it to other creatures in the game. So don't be hitting any sheep, otherwise I'm gonna kill you. Anyway. So yeah, that's pretty much what this um, disease does. The bubonic plague gives you weakness and slowness. I'm just going to inject it into me again, just to make sure I've got the right disease here. Uh, yep, there we go. We've got the same disease. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to check the medical journal. And you can see in here, the symptoms are weakness, drowsiness, fatigue, and then transferred from black rat and mortality rate of 75%. So pretty much the odds are not in your favor. You're pretty much always going to die. Three and four times you get it, you're going to die, which is not very good news for you, is it? Actually, I've just lost the effect. Maybe actually taking a disease you already have removes the disease? Well, that's kind of cool. So if you want to cure a disease, just take the disease again and you're somehow fine. But yeah, next up we've got Parkinson's. So Parkinson's, again, doesn't have a cure. And this one has a really weird symptoms list. And I want to show you what it does. So here we go. I'm just going to take this now. I've got no diseases, so it should work like so. Uh, yep, it doesn't have any like noticeable potion effects, but if I go into the medical journal like so, let me just check uh, Parkinson's yeah, it has jittering and butterfingers So pretty much if you hold any items in your hand There's a small chance that you'll just randomly throw it out of your inventory Which is pretty funny so you can just be walking along and you'll chuck your items out your inventory like I don't want these anymore these diamonds They're pointless to me. I'm just gonna drop them on the ground uh, and I was hoping it'd actually show me um, jittering around a bit. So when you're standing still, you'll just get thrown to one side randomly, uh, that kind of thing. And I can't really show you this now because nothing's happening to me. I was hoping I'd actually get... Oh, wow. I, I died from a disease. Um, what disease did I die from? I'm not even sure <laughs> anymore. <laughs> what did I die from? <laughs> uh, let me just take the Parkinson's again. I might have just got influenced by another disease there. So we're just going to take this again and see if we get any of the Parkinson's effects. Why does nothing work when I'm trying to show you something? Oh, did you see that then? I just got chucked from one side to another when I was walking. Uh, that's one symptom of Parkinson's. Is anything else going to happen? I was hoping something would be chucked out of my inventory right now, <laughs> but nothing is happening. Come on, just chuck something out of my inventory. Maybe I need to have more items. Here we go. Put loads of items in my inventory. Now chuck something out, please. Anything? Anything at all, please? No. Well, anyway, that's pretty much what the symptoms are. You'll chuck items out of your inventory and you'll randomly be chucked all over the place and your head will go all over the place. But nothing like that is currently happening to me. So, last of all, we have the yellow fever disease. So I'm just going to give myself that with the chemical extractor here, like so. And see what we get. We get weakness, slowness, mining fatigue, and nausea. Pretty horrible cocktail of effects there. And yeah, it has no cure. So if you get this, you're pretty much dead. Because let me just check the mortality rates here. Uh, it might actually not be as bad as I think it is. Uh, yeah, it's only 50% mortality rate. Only 50%. You know, there's one in two chance you're going to die. Not that bad. I mean, you've got some hope. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Trying to make it seem like it's better than it is. It is pretty... Pretty terrible if you do end up with this disease. So yeah, that's pretty much all of the diseases in this mod. Some of them can be cured, some of them can't. But now let's move on to the other features in this mod. So yeah guys, the last two things I wanted to show you are how you can actually obtain vaccines and also the brand new doctor mob that this mod adds into the game. So first up, we're just going to spawn down some villagers here and see if any of them have a trade uh, for a vaccine. No, they don't. So if you're wondering how you can gain vaccines, that's by finding villagers and then buying vaccines from the villagers. So you might get a villager doctor and I've just spawned a doctor because I was thinking about doctors. I'll show you those later on. <laughs> but here we go. Yep, there we go. You can see you can trade emeralds for medication. That's not quite what I wanted. I want the vaccines. 
Uh, again, medication. That's not what I wanted. Come on. I'm not getting very lucky right now. They all want medication. None of them have vaccines. You're going to have to take my word for it, though. Some of them do have vaccines. <laughs> I'm getting so unlucky. Okay, that one wants emeralds. Uh, that one wants coal. Anything. Wow, I'm just going to have like a massive gang of villagers right now. There's going to be a villager invasion just because I can't get the right one. And now we've got a diamond chest plate. That's a brilliant trade. Anyway, next up, we've got a sword. Okay, finally, I found a villager that has a trade for a vaccine. So this one has a emerald trade for a vaccine, which cures influenza. You've just got to get really lucky and hope that um, you get the correct vaccine for the illness you have from these villagers. But as you can see by how many villagers I've had to spawn before I can get one that has a vaccine as a trade, it's going to be quite difficult. So we're just going to get one of these vaccines and see if any other trades in locks. So let's just buy loads of them. Maybe this one only sells vaccines and we might be in luck. Let's have a look. Uh, come on. Uh, oh, look, medication. That's kind of good. Let's get the medication. See if any others unlock and whether we get any more lucky. Uh, let's just get loads of those. Are you going to love me? Please love me. Get some particle effects. Yes, you do. What's the next trade? Oh, bottles of enchanting. I was hoping this would be like a doctor villager that only sold medication and vaccines, but I wasn't so lucky. So you're going to have to be pretty lucky to actually get <laughs> villagers that are selling vaccines. But next up, I wanted to show you the doctor mob. So over here, we have a doctor. And when you right click on the doctors, they say, hello, I'm Dr. Raymond. And for a fee of one emeralds, I will check you for a disease. So if you're in survival mode, you can go up to these guys and see if what disease you've got by paying them an emerald. Well, that in theory is what you do, but I've tested this out, so I'm going to give myself now a disease, like so, just to check whether it's this works or not. And then I'm going to try and right-click on him. Uh, it doesn't work. Right-click on him with emeralds. It's not working. What about if I throw emeralds at you? I'm literally throwing emeralds at you right now. I've given you like 30 emeralds, and you are not checking me for a disease. I mean, what do you do with these doctors? How, how do they work? How does it work? I don't get it. <laughs> but what I can do to be evil because you're not helping me is punch you. Now you've got the disease because you're just so useless. You will not help me. I've given you a deadly disease. You deserve it. <laughs> I've given this guy influenza and you deserve it. I'm, I'm so sorry, but if you can't treat me, I'm giving you emeralds. You've just took the emeralds and you haven't treated me or diagnosed me. So screw you. I'm off. <laughs> Uh, but the cool thing about these doctors are they come in different kinds. So here we are. We've got the doctor. We've got Doctor Who here. We've got the doctor. And he's got some lovely 3D glasses. And I think this is the 10th doctor, isn't it? Yes, it is. And he says some um, weird stuff. Let me just turn up the volume here. So here we go. Make some sounds. Wibbly wobbly. Timey wimey. Stuff. Yep. Yep. I agree. Wibbly wobbly. Timey wimey stuff. Wibbly wobbly. Timey wimey. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's the thing, that's the thing. I'm probably going to die by disease be before I actually finish this. Uh, that's really distracting now. Let me just turn that down. I'm probably going to die from this disease before I finish this mod showcase, but we've got one more doctor to show you. I think there is another kind. Come on, let's spawn it. No luck so far. Come on. Wait, what is that? Okay, that's... Why Why would a doctor wear headphones? Anyway, next up. <laughs> uh, no, no luck. There's just so many doctors. And no, still no luck. This is just going to take all day, isn't it? Look at that, we've got Dinnerbone. <laughs> As I said, there is a chance of Dinnerbone being a doctor, and he's upside down because he's Dinnerbone. And if I right-click on him, it says, Hello, I'm Dr. Dinnerbone, and for a fee of seven emeralds, I will check you for a disease, which is a lie, because they don't, but yep. And look how many doctors we've got. <laughs> we've got a whole field full of doctors. And that's the time to show you a command that this mod adds called Kill Doctors. Yes. <laughs> that is generally a command. I don't know why it's a command. Maybe because the mod creator like thought that everyone would spawn loads of doctors to see if they actually worked and discovered they don't. So then they have like a field of doctors and they want a quick way of removing them all. So there's a kill doctors command, which is just perfect. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much everything in this mod showcase. And look how many villagers there are. They're just invading the whole world. <laughs> but yeah, guys, if you've enjoyed this mod showcase, please remember to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I'll be seeing you next time. Goodbye.